Peace and blessings, everyone. It's been a while since I've done an enlightenment video. So this video is going to be about Planet X, aka Planet Nibiru, and the and the Anunnaki. So basically, the Anunnaki are black extraterrestrials, and they're also known as black as masters of genetics. Now, when we say masters of genetics, as the story goes, many many years ago thousands upon thousands upon thousands of years ago the Anunnaki came here to planet or earth looking for gold for their spacecraft or their spaceship and so they created the African race of people the black Africans to uh, mine gold for them for their spacecraft and in turn they gave the Africans knowledge now when we talk about masters of genetics they create they, there's a it's it said that they created the human race, which are the African people, black African people. Um, not to say anything against Christian beliefs or Christianity or anything of that nature, but and not to discredit it, but that is a biblical belief, that is a Christi Christian belief, and it's not dealing with scientific fact and scientific belief but on a religious belief system so biblically you know most Christians believe that we come from Adam and Eve um, scientifically that has not been proven so but that's another story for another time and to get involved with that that would take some time so that's not what this video is about or what it's pertaining to so basically now before I go any further let me state that I am no scholar and I am no professional researcher on this topic or on this subject I'm just uh, sharing information that I found to be interesting and I wanted to share it with you all and that would come across this video and find it to be enlightening and interesting uh, as well so I am no professional I'm no scholar I'm just the average chick that uh, that uh, believes in esoteric knowledge and believes in sharing as much as I can with people that are interested in people that have an open mind and with those that will listen so I was on the internet uh, the other day and I came across this article uh, titled Earth will be destroyed in October 2017 and the rich are building bunkers and this was found on metro.co.uk so um, this is a uh, United Kingdom uh, website um, and if you want to uh, research it and read it for yourself you can go to metro that's m-e-t-r-o dot c-o dot u-k um, and you can check it out for yourself um, so basically what the article states is that a massive death planet is about to hit our planet killing us all now this is just uh, a prediction and we all know about doomsday predictions like there are thousands of doomsday predictions every year and most of them don't even come true now do I believe that the earth or the world is going to end in September or October of this year 2017 no I don't but it could mean an end phase to an old way of thinking and we're ushering in a new phase of thinking and more and more of our people are educating themselves on esoteric knowledge and our culture and our history uh, so on and so forth so uh, it could be a possibility that um, a mass awakening could occur but you know we just don't know but thankfully a lot of our people um, are waking up every day but basically this is what the article says uh, researcher David Mead author of Planet X the 2017 arrival 
states that there is an abundance of evidence that proves that a planet will collide with Earth in September or October of 2017. And this is where the doomsday prediction starts, uh, where they're talking about, uh, you know, this planet is going to come and wipe out millions of people. Uh, but this planet is Planet X, aka Planet Nibiru, from where the Anunnaki reside. And, there, and there's been talking, if you've been reading or researching, was going to talk about the Anunnaki returning to Earth. And, um, so, they're believing that if the Anunnaki were to return, um, this would cause a major upheaval and mass destruction. Now, for any Christians that may come across this video, or any naysayers, you're going to find this information off the wall and crazy because it's never been introduced to you before, it's never been taught to you before, and you haven't had the opportunity to research it and study it for yourselves. Um, but I encourage you to do so. Just check out, you know, Google Esoteric Knowledge, um, and you'll come up with a wealth of information. I always encourage people to read and research for themselves because this is the only way that you're going to be able to understand it and see it for yourself. Um, and if there's something that you come across, there's always people out there that know um, a lot about this stuff. So definitely, definitely do your research, as I always say, and as I always do. So the article goes on to state that the elites, David Mead claims, know about this and are building underground bunkers to survive the collision. So they already know that something big may occur or is about to happen and they're going to go to their underground bunkers but as we know uh, they have been building underground bunkers for many years and the average citizen like myself who cannot afford to uh, invest in an underground bunker we're going to have to strive and survive the best way that we can and the best th way that we know how above ground you know, just in case uh, a mass destruction does occur. Um, and uh, Mead also states that the public is being kept in the dark to avoid panic. So basically, even if you told the public or if you told people uh, this information that Planet X or Planet Nibiru or so what NASA was uh, talking about, which is at the edge of our solar system, is this particular planet. Um, that it's going to come well I don't believe NASA said anything about it's going to collide with Earth but NASA uh, was keeping an, a watchful eye out for this particular planet um, but uh, they feel as though this will cause major major havoc um, because with research during the last time they that they say that the Anunnaki came. Um, it caused uh, a great flood. But you can check out that information um, for yourselves. And I may get in deeper on that and do another video on that at a later date. But, um, but as we all know, the more we read and discover things and study things for ourselves, the more we find out that we know nothing. Because there's so much information that has been hidden from us and that it's not coming forward so it's like you have to just use your own discernment and and take things for how you see them okay so continuing on the article states during this time oh and as a matter of fact I just wanted to say that in no way form or fashion am I um, trying to uh, use this copyrighted information. This is just information that is for the public and it's out there and you can research it and read it for yourselves. Um, and it states, <clears throat> during this time frame on September 23rd, 2017, the moon appears under the feet of the constellation Virgo. The sun appears to precisely clothe Virgo, only the one that occurs in 2017 constitutes a birthing. This is when planets traverse within 
the legs of Virgo, Jupiter is birth on September 9th, 2017. So I guess with this uh, particular, particularly planetary alignment that is to occur September 23rd, 2017, it's supposed to cause uh, some type of upheaval that they're seeing. Uh, the most event that follow the next excuse me the next event that follows is the planet X will fully eclipse the sun and cover the whole earth in full moon in shadow on the next full moon date this is Thursday October 5th 2017 the following full moon date um now and as we know if you've been keeping up uh, there's an eclipse that is scheduled to happen on next month sometime in August um, and um, I think that that's going to be a very interesting and exciting time uh, although we I have I have myself have experienced um, an eclipse before and um, it was pretty cool so and they're stating that a million people are scheduled to come to the state of South Carolina here in the state of South Carolina that I don't even know if it's an exaggeration or if you know a million people are actually gonna show up here uh, in my state but uh, we shall see but that is also another planetary uh, event that we could uh, look out for is the eclipse and uh we'll get into that a little bit more when uh the time approaches or the time gets closer so i know with this they're saying september and october and uh, right now it's uh the month of july but uh we just have to see what happens we just have to wait and see uh and so it says for decades conspiracy theorists have predicted that an unseen planet beyond Neptune called Nibiru or Planet X is going to destroy Earth. Um, and where they got this theory from, I believe, about Planet X destroying Earth is because the last time that planet, uh, the last time that um, where they got this theory from about Planet X or Planet Nibiru uh, destroying earth is because um they say that that's how uh atlantis went under uh and went underwater is because there was um uh Nibiru, uh came past the earth and it caused um a massive flood so also that's something else that you could research and google and look into and i know i'm, I'm jumping the gun and jumping all over the place but these these little tidbits in the article um, are leading me to uh, or giving me a segue if you will into uh, these bits and pieces of information then it goes on to say uh, and it talks about Soviet born American Zachariah Stitchin first wrote about Nibiru in his hit 1976 book The Twelfth Planet where he claimed it was inhabited by a race of ancient aliens the Anunnaki who had created the human race so once again we go back to the Anunnaki uh, claiming uh, the Anunnaki uh, creating the human race um, excuse me let's get some little light here So, basically, and that did not work. Sorry, hold on one second. Uh, let's see. There we go. Excuse me. For that, I want to turn on the light, of course, light. So, so that I can see. Um... It says, Nigel Watson, author of the UFO Investigations Manual, says, Zachariah Stinchin claims that Nibiru collided with a planet called Tiamat that was situated between Mars and Jupiter. The result was the creation of the asteroid belt and planet Earth. Nibiru is populated by the Anunnaki 
an advanced humanoid race who visited Earth thousands of years to mine gold in Africa. As an outcome of needing workers to carry out these mining operations, they used genetics to create homo, homo sapiens. So homo sapiens are the erect walking individuals, the upright walking individuals where we walk on two feet. Um, and that is where we get the African race from. Now this is speaking on uh, scientific genetics, not religious beliefs, because like I said, Christians believe that Adam and Eve were the first humans on the planet. Christians believe that everyone comes from Adam and Eve. Science uh, begs to differ. And the popularity of these type of ideas makes it certain that every new discovery by our spaceships will be minutely studied for an evidence of Nibiru or any other similar body that might be populated by extraterrestrials. So, and I've even heard that African people or people of African descent like myself, black people, that we are the extraterrestrials. But, um, I encourage you to just do your research and like I said I know I jumped all over the place with um, bits and pieces and tidbits of information um, and I really need to just sit down and compile more information where I can present it uh, in a way where I'm not just giving off tidbit information but um, I just wanted to cover the basics because that's all I know are the basics. I don't delve really deep into it like that um, because it would take a lot of study and a lot of research and it's not that I don't want to. It's like a lot of times I don't have the time, but you know, I can make the time like I made the time to make this video and I'll be back with more videos, more, uh, enlightenment videos. I like to call them, um, and we can chop it up and we can talk about uh, the upcoming eclipse because I'm excited about that very much so. So right now I just want to say thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to check me out and to check out this video. And to my new subscribers, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for subscribing to me. I appreciate it. And um, I hope you stick with me because definitely I have a lot more videos coming. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And please leave positive feedback, constructive feedback. If you know a little more, let's um, chop it up. Let's get together and, you know, drop your comments. And, you know, we can go a little deeper. Because, like I said, I'm always willing to learn. Because, like, this is just some of the information that I gathered. So, um, if you have more information please feel free to share. I'd appreciate it. Thank you so much and uh, have a wonderful evening and a wonderful day.